Welcome Aquarius to your love reading for November. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. This message. Let's see who this person is and what is going on with your person. Whether you know this person, are you committed to this person, or it's a new person who's coming in. Direct communication with the Queen of Swords. This person, wow. Okay, so next card coming out is the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. So something is definitely faded over here. It's some kind of change. This is destined to change um, from the ups and downs. They want to tell their truth about the situation, you know, uh, really communicate what is going on within the situation. They can feel the change. Um, and it's crazy because if that's like what is, you know, what is their feelings for you? They want this to change. They want this opportunity with you. They want the good luck with you. Wow. So what else is in their feelings? Your feelings. King of Cups. You're, they feel like you're emotionally balanced enough to come towards you at this time. So if you guys were having any kind of issues, whether you're already a couple or, you know, um, then it feels like they want to fix this. They want this, you know, to be fixed. If this is a new relationship coming in, guys, this is just them feeling like, you know what? I'm emotionally balanced enough now to be able to come towards you. Take that control. Take your offer or I want to offer you because I have enough control over here to the situation. Something feels very familiar. Either this is a person you've known th since childhood or you guys have been together a very long time or there's this nostalgic Feeling with the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Cups, it could even feel like I've known you before. You've seemed very familiar, even though I may never have known you. This could be a, this is definitely could be a soulmate connection, where it's like my soul knows you. I don't know you, but I don't know why I feel like I know you. And they feel this is them though. They feel like they've known you a long time. Something about you, right? You feel very familiar, comforting. Or, or, you know, I've, I've loved you since childhood, you know, since we were kids in college, high school. Or I want to fix this relationship the way it used to be, the way we used to feel about each other. I want that feeling again. But they are taking the lead over here as the King of Wands. Could be dealing with Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cusp. They're seeing the bigger picture they're overcoming any challenges that they did definitely have. And I, I'm telling you, the, most, the challenges for them mostly was emotional. was the emotional challenges. Why? Because they became the king of cups. They're saying, and it could also be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But it does feel like their biggest problem at this time was the emotions. Holding in those emotions. Not being healed. Maybe they were hurt in a past relationship. Or maybe you guys have had too many fights and they want to... You know, but they feel that change, that they're ready. They've manifested this and they're ready to come to you and take the action where action is needed. Wow. They're definitely going to come to talk to you. Now we have the Page of Swords. That's another card of communication. They're ready for this communication. They've mentally thought about the situation. They know exactly how they want to talk to you. They're saying, I'm going to give to you exactly what it is you need. And I know that what you are getting over here is love. Page of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and the Lovers. I know what you need, and I know how to do it. Now, I'm balanced enough to show you what love is, or I am balanced enough to go give someone else love. I'm ready for a new love relationship. And even if it's fixing a relationship, that just means that they want to fix it to be new, fresh. I don't want to, you know, I want to clean the slate, or I need new love. If you know this is a new love coming in, then they're ready now. They've gotten, they've healed. They know what they want. They're ready to communicate. They're ready to dance. They're ready to court. They're ready to take that leap of faith and that risk. Let go of control issues and let it hold unnaturally. I feel like for some of you, they may have been too controlling if you guys are already in a relationship. that They didn't know how to fix the situation. What they needed to do was Six of Cups. It's almost like Six of Cups again. What they needed to do is find that childlike flirtiness, that playfulness. Be playful. 
Maybe they were taking everything too serious. Maybe they were the queen of swords in reverse. I'm too cold, too serious. And now they've decided that they want to open up. They want to let go of that, take the risk. And you know what? The first step to a happy relationship is playfulness. Being happy, finding the joy. You know, but coming out as the Queen of Swords is just saying straight out, though, to start with, I'm going to tell you my truth. I'm going to cut through all the bullshit. I'm going to tell you the truth, the absolute truth, nothing but the truth. Because that's what the Queen of Swords does. If they have depth, you know, if it's a new relationship or even an old relationship, they're going to cut their boundaries and say, okay, but you know what? We can't do this to each other. This is what happened in my old relationship. This is what happened to us before. Okay. So, getting these new cards out over here. I got these new Romeo and Juliet cards. They called me at the store the other day. So, it's funny though. I was there for candles. I wasn't there for cards. But, I kept hearing them whisper at me. Hey, hey, hey. Over here in the corner. <laughs> I looked over. I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> okay, I'll take you. I'll take you home. Quick yelling at me okay guys so we got kiss eternal loyalty and noble sacrifice look at that that's actually a very beautiful card in its own way it just feels like I want to kiss you I want to love you I want to kiss you I want you to hold me I want to hold you I don't want anything harmful. It feels like they're getting out of something very harmful, very destructive. And if you guys had a very harmful, destructive relationship that you guys are fixing now, they're saying, I don't want any more wrong decisions. I want kisses. I want snuggles. I want love. I don't want this. And if this is a new relationship, this is what they just got out of. No wonder they were in emotional, you know, disharmony, pain. They don't want any more incorrect decisions. They don't want any more hurt. They want you know, to fix everything. They want something that's loyal. They want, they want eternal loyalty and, and love. Like done with it. Like, like we've hurt each other or, you know what, somebody hurt me. I don't want that. They have the, ter the determination, bringing out all the courage that they definitely have, especially being that king of, um, excuse me, wands over there. No more indecisiveness. They have to come and be very firm about the situation. They know they're going to be firm about the situation. But they also want to be very courageous. They want to speak their truth with courage. They want you to know, no more. Let's love. I love you. I want, you know. But I don't want to hurt. I don't want to hurt you. And I don't want you to. I don't want to hurt you. And I don't want you to hurt me. And no more pain. Okay, let's see what you're saying over here. Clarify on the situation of how they are feeling about the situation for the majority thereof, please. Yeah, the recovery from being out in the cold. So some of you could feel like, you know what, I just got out of a bad relationship as well, or we did definitely hurt each other, and I don't want that either. So it does feel like you are recovering. Take it how it resonates, whether you know which one it is, right? It's either one or the other, right? Regret and failure. You felt like there was a lot of disappointments. There was a lot of loss, a lot of grief. But there is a difficult decision weighing you down. You are kind of avoiding this situation. You are kind of blocking yourself from this love. You are blocked. This relationship has either drained you so much that you've now blocked yourself or this new relationship who's coming in to speak to you, you are still blocking your heart. You are blocking yourself because of pain. Completions. You felt like this was a completion. You're ready to walk into a new world. You wanted the fulfillment of life. You, you feel like you're arriving at a place that you want. But I think that this is just kind of thrown at you and you weren't, you weren't acknowledging it. No matter what the situation is, you were not acknowledging it. You walked away. You did what you needed to do. Your mental clarity, you were grown in your own way. You have your own success. You're worrying about what it is you want to worry about. You're not, you know, you're over here saying, I'm not sure about this. Because when it comes to the matters of the heart, I'm kind of closed down. But when it comes to my career and my goals, I'm way 
up here, up high. I'm worrying some, somewhere else. So for you, it could even feel like it could even be a potential for tension. You're causing me a little tension. I don't know if I want to take your love back. I don't even know if I want to hear your words. You who want to come at me, who is new, I'm not sure if I want this right, right now. So you might feel a little pressured for some of you. A little pressured to have to listen to this partner. For others of you, you might feel like it's kind of a focus on a relationship that I'm not sure if I really want that just yet. I'm not really there just yet. I'm not sure exactly. So you're sitting in your quiet power as the king of swords in reverse, just kind of, mm, mm. Some of you will say, mm, I'm sitting in my quiet power. I'm listening. I'm just not open. I'm listening. And then others of you like, I, I don't even know if I want to listen. I, I don't, I'm not sure exactly how I want to do this yet. I just kind of, kind of backing it up. I'm not sure yet. There was a lot of failure, a lot of, a lot of loss within this relationship or the last relationship that I was in. I, I'm just not sure, you know, or I'm coming up in my career so much right now. I'm not sure if I want to really put myself out there and engage in, in love affairs. Right? I'm kind of in, a, for a lot of you, you're in a self-protection mode because of the loss or because of what's gone on between you two. But look at this, you know, I mean, it's like if this was you guys, who, oh, I mean, because if you guys are in a, you know, some kind of committed relationship or relationship already, this is what you're dealing with. Those of you, you're not sure if you want to deal with that. That's what they just got out of. And you may have mirror, mirror, you know, I may have just done the same thing. They're trying to open themselves up to get something new. But Spirit is saying, whoo, look at your, don't fear the change because I'm giving you the sun. Don't fear the change. Embrace it with pleasure. Right? But you could say, well, maybe my pleasure though, mm. but there's that fun and that happiness and that playfulness that they're, they're, they're sending you away. But there's still this unsurety, this restless feeling, not sure. Putting a delay on the happiness and the joy and the sunshine that's coming out for you. Not having, there's a little bit of lack of faith and despair over here when it comes to the six of wands. You're like, I don't know if that's really my six of wands. How do I know that's victory? I'm not sure if that's really what I want. My public recognition and all the things that are happening around me have to do with my money, my career, my family. I don't know if it wants to be within this love situation. Can I trust this situation enough? So I do feel like there's two cards of disconnection, kind of disconnecting from this situation, not giving your whole. Like I said, some of you are listening. That doesn't mean that you're giving all. Clarify on the situation over here in the third, third setting, please, for the overall for this reading. Tell me something amazing about this reading. What is so amazing about this connection for giving and learning? As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Honeymoon, uh, honeymoon, excuse me. Enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together. So Spirit says, you know, you might want to give it a try. I mean, you do have the Six of Wands, the Sun, and the Star is actually there, my friends. It's just that it's in reverse because you're not giving it enough trust. Right? Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world so that you can, what? Let your friends help you. Let your family help you. Ask for support. Ask questions. What do you think? You know, maybe some of your friends will have a, you know, do you think I should give them a try? You know what I mean? Ask that bestie what they think. Let them, you know, perceive it from the other side of the shoes, right? Very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Use that intuition. Listen, you know, meditate. What does your heart say? What does your mind, and don't listen to that little mind. Don't listen to that little mind. Right? That little mind is full of fears. No trust. That's that, you know, devil on your shoulder. Right? Your intuition is the angel on your shoulder, and that little voice is your little devil. Right? Because that's the one that doesn't allow you to have anything good because it's your overprotective piece. Right? It comes in from past memories, short term memories long-term memory, right? It's the one that's saying, oh, no, don't do that. They're going to hurt you again. 
but then that doesn't allow for repentance, that doesn't allow for change, that doesn't allow for growth. <laughs> Unless it's just been so many times that you've, right, now we have to go through, well, wait a minute, it's a general reading, right? Maybe I've done this a thousand times, I ain't doing it again. You see what I'm saying? So take that how it is, I'm just saying, right? For those of you in a new relationship, I would definitely, you know, me personally, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not here to tell you what to do. But me personally, I think that maybe I would think about the situation, right, from a different perspective. Uh, work on your relationship. I also say work on yourself a little bit as well, right? Yeah, love yourself first, free yourself, yeah. Look and see what the pros and cons are of the situation. That's what I would do. I would at least listen and see who this, like, who are you? <laughs> you know, I might not be dating you, but maybe I want to, you know, get to know you. I want to know who you are if this is a new person. Especially if it's somebody you don't know. You know, I want to know who you are first before I just go, you know, go out to the bar with you and go out and do things with you. Right? I want to know, you know, who are you? Yeah, for a lot of you, it's healing family issues. Yeah, see, because it says new love has not stirred your <laughs> romantic feelings. So if this is a new love... It might be what you have to grow into, but it also shows you're also blocked, so. And then for others of you, it's that healing family issues with reconciliation. They want this reconciliation, right? Doesn't mean they're going to get one. Everybody's story is different, but that's what they're looking for, right? Okay, yeah, look at that. They want to come in offering you their heart. Take my heart, take my heart. That was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.